Hi there, let's get right to it. So far we've been looking at the wonderful qualifier and power window palettes, uh, which allow us to isolate portions of our image. And I've been promising you that the selections we've been making can be made so much cleaner when you combine the two together. So today I'll show a few examples of how these can be juggled. Let's begin by combining windows. The task I had with this shot was getting the sky to match the way it looked in some other shots that they grabbed on different days. So I'm going to begin by giving this shot some depth just to establish some colors. For this, using a qualifier won't do at all. If I drop in a serial node and I try to select this guy, almost immediately you can see how much of the hair gets grabbed. So I won't do that. I'm going to reset the color grade for this node. And instead I'm going to just use windows. I'll begin by dropping in a gradient and I'm going to select that it be active from the top and for it to taper off towards the end. If I turn on my highlight, it will look a bit like this. So I'm pretty happy with the length, but of course a big problem is the fact that if we start applying, say, a bit of saturation, maybe a bit of blueness, we're going to start seeing this reflected on the actress's face, and that's not so great. So this is where juggling the windows comes into play. I can turn on my ellipse, drag and drop it over her face, bring it down narrower to select that area. And of course, I don't want to focus on her face, so I'm going to turn this into a mask and specifically cut out that portion of the image. So now I've got this wonderful gradient on top and a complete cutout where her face is. I can even clean it up even further with her hair here using the power curve tool. So then I can just click around and that adds a trapezoid type shape and I can also mask that out. Applying a bit of softness almost always helps. So I'll just do that for both, soften them up. So then when I turn the highlights off and I go back to the original clip, I'll feel much more confident about changing the color of the sky and its intensity, knowing that I'm not completely overriding her hair and her face. Um, of course, if you're going to be introducing something like bright blue into a white sky, you're already going to have a lot of issues with it looking realistic. So it's not going to look too natural. I might have to feather in just a little bit and maybe cut back on the saturation. But this is already much closer to what the original footage looked like compared to what was captured on the day, which was just a white sky. Let's see how we can combine windows with qualifiers. For this, I'm going to open up a different clip. And here we have a nice shot of the character walking down a bridge. In this case, the director wanted some changes made to the sky. And if I was to drop in a serial node and use my qualifier to select the color of the sky, if I was to reveal the highlight, it'll show that the selection of the sky is pretty solid, but unfortunately there's a bit of the blue on the bridge being grabbed as well. One of the first things I'd do to rectify this would be to turn on my HSL controls and see if any of them would clean it up. Secondly, I'd play around with the values of the controls underneath those ranges. And I'm also switching over to matte so I can get a better representation of how much I'm affecting this fence. We go into the black clip, the white clip, as I'm doing all this, I'm keeping an eye on the sky and on the fence more than anything. I don't care at all about what's happening down here because we now know how to use windows and we can just activate a window to isolate that portion of the image. And because the camera doesn't really tilt, it just stays on this horizontal level, uh, I'm happy just leaving the window where it is and ignoring everything that's underneath it. That way, when I turn off my highlight controls, I can now start playing around with my color wheels and curves to achieve a certain look. And that's looking really quite natural. So if you look at that edge around her hair, that's very clean. The fence is still staying the same gray and yellow color as it was. Uh, and the greatest thing is that this will be maintained as the shot progresses. So all the way across her movement, the sky is still being affected to the same degree. If I turn this on and off, you can see the difference. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found this useful. See you next time.